let's dig into it. Game three of a four game set. The Cubs are searching for eight straight wins. And uh, this one got off to a delayed start, an hour and 47 minute rain delay. And when Jamison Tyone got things rolling, Lars Nukbar said, let's score early and often. Early, not necessarily often, just one run crossed, and it's a 1 0 Cardinals lead, Joe. Hey, they kept Lars in the ballpark. They yeah, haven't yeah, done that's, that. That's a true. A lot, so. Uh huh. He had aspirations to Here we him. go. This is a bullet. Oh, this is a right? bullet. Oh, Adam. <laughs> so, I fall and can't get up. Uh -oh. and Hold on a second, man. Ian man. Happ making them pay. You get sloppy on oh. defense. <laughs> oh, uh, gone. That's a wall there. That's right. You know, there's one person it that Ian Happ is hoping does not retire. That's, that's Adam Wainwright. And Adam Wainwright has had a tremendous, incredible career. Yeah. 14 for 36 versus Wayno. This was his 50th career start versus the Cubs. But Jamison Tyone, he could care nothing about it with bases loaded. And Nolan Gorman lifts this one, and he turned that bat into firewood. Happer, gold glove for a reason, Joe. Well, yeah, it's a good play by Happer, but he threw a really good curveball down in a way and got him to pop it up. And then Jan Gomes, uh-oh. All he do is Did he? hit. Did he? Another right. episode. Did he? <laughs> Crossing, oh, oh, and that happened. put some spikes you know in the he pad there. He thought he, he was, had it. He thought he had it, right? I mean, he actually got really close. He got up there. He, you know he practices this in turf shoes as to not disrupt the padding, but either way, he thought he had it, and you could see the frustration as he slammed his glove down. Jan Gomes, stoic as they always. Dallas short. He's a fourth degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. Nick Madrigal on first base, one out, and Mike Talkman. Uh, that is how you get it done. Talkman has been a red hot eight for his last 16, Joe. Yeah, and you go back the last 15 games. He's got mm -hmm. 15 RBIs, and that's really huge for the Cubs when you're getting that off your leadoff man. And he's obviously playing great defense and doing so many other things. Yeah, and then he hits him with a little sprinkler. But how about Jamison <laughs> Tyon? Oh, Continues man. to pitch well, gets sweet stick Willie, then Jordan Walker chopping through that one, and then got a little help from his friend. What a Nick play. Madrigal. Oh, look at that. Was he the better of the two third basemen in this matchup? Uh, for that one, he was. Tyone finished his day of uh, four punch outs, six innings, 84 pitches. So his evening was over. Mark Leiter Jr. opened uh -oh. the door for him, and oh, plunks Willie. So bases loaded. MLJ, after a talk with Tommy Hadovy, David Ross would come get him. Javier Assad, uh, the time is now for you. Jordan Walker with bases loaded. That's why they pay attention during PFP's cliff. Well, yeah, you know, a field your position, but also come in out of bullpen and pick up your boy. You know, lighter than have it, and then take care of business. Yeah. Glad he kept his glasses on, though, why? That's He's right. fielding. Daniel Palencia, you may need some Woo! goggles with an extra strong prescription when you're Look, facing that man right that there. A 98 MPH is, uh, sometimes you can't see it, but you can definitely hear it. Sounds like bacon frying. Five to one. <laughs> Uh, that's the final tally right there. Uh, 10 to 5 in the hit category in St. Louis. As we told you, a little sloppy with the gloves. That one error and nine left on base. And Jamison Tyon, what more can we say about him? The man went out there and pitched well. 23 batters faced, 17 of them saw first pitch strike. So, J Mo, how'd you get back on track, brother? 